You are in the studio of Perpetual Mojo, and I'm working on one of my very favorite things today. Actually, two, because it's mosaic and it's candy box. I've sealed this with some Aline's Tacky Glue because these are gonna be heavy and I don't want any of the moisture from the glue to soak into this and make it soft. Don't you just love these tiles? They remind me of chocolate. Let's begin by tracing a line around the top of my box. Now let's cut the tiles loose from the big strip. I have my double wheeled tile nipper that I so envied Heidi for that I had to run it out and get my own. And now I'm just gonna start nipping away. So watch out for flying debris. I'm using a grooved tool because the grooving in there in the glue will help the tiles settle down in there and stick properly. So place it on and because this is soft I'm gonna squish from this side and line up be very careful when you're working with the glass tile too. For the strip that goes around, I'm just working on the back of the tiles with the glue. And I'm gonna move it into place. And let's fit this last piece into place. Now, these will have to dry overnight before I can put the grout on. Before you let it get completely dry, you want to wipe off any glue that's showing on the surface of your tiles. Hubby took his finger around here and smoothed out the glue that was here. That'll give me some room to add an extra embellishment on this edge. Here comes the fun part. We are mixing grout and I've got this lovely beigey grout ready to go and I'm just going to use my hand and push it in. You have to be very careful when you go around the edges because this is glass and stone and there are some very sharp sharp edges. You can see I've already done the edge of the bottom one and it's starting to get a little bit of haze, so I'm almost ready to rub a little bit more of that grout off the surface of the tiles. But let's go ahead and pick this one up and do some sides. Yeah, it's like making a mud pie. And I am just barely touching the sharp edges. If you ever have any questions about working with tiles, and mosaics and grout and all, go to cooltocraft.com and search Heidi and mosaics and you will learn everything you ever need to know to make wonderful masterpieces. It's okay if it gets on the inside. One of the most important things to remember is that you never wash your hands or any of your grout tools in your sink because this will turn to cement in your pipes. Now that this has set a little bit, I've started using a damp sponge to take the grout off the surface of the tiles. And it's okay if there's just a little bit of a haze, you can get that off with a dry paper towel after this is completely dry. But if you try to leave it like that and not get down to that haze, you will not be able to get that off. So let us continue. As this is drying out and I'm taking some of the grout off the tiles, I see that some of my cuts are just gonna be jagged. So I'm gonna opt to put something along the outer edge to take care of that. Lovely. After we're done with this cleanup and the grout is dry, we will be adding some detail. This is the finished product. I added some wired ribbon and lots of gems and some beaded trim. 
And I think that the tiles work beautifully there. I think that they are the star of the show. Remember how this box started out? It was a cardboard heart-shaped box, and I mosaiced it with actual tiles. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. It's just beautiful. And I would encourage you to look around your house to see what you can mosaic. You can use just about anything. I'm Candace. Stay crafty, my friends.